Welcome back everyone, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper with another 12x12 layout for you and today I will be scrapping this photo of my mum and dad. I will also be using these gorgeous gorgeous papers from Graphic 45 and it's from the Love Notes collection. This layout was actually part of my February, February design team commitments to Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. I will leave a link to Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft in the description box for anyone that wishes to get their hands on these gorgeous papers. So I am sorry this video should have gone up in February, but in February, March, we were having a lot of internet issues. I do think the problem has been resolved, but hopefully April is a lot smoother. Let's see how we go. So the first thing I did was I decided to use this paper here. It's called Floral Symphony and I'm going to map my photo as I usually do using my Perfect Layers ruler. The background paper is called Love Notes and I chose it because, well, A, it went well with Dad because he's got a black shirt on, but also because I thought it was a great representation of who my dad is. Dad absolutely loves his music and he's actually was born with a natural singing voice. He's not a professional singer, but my gosh, can this man sing? I unfortunately did not inherit his singing voice. Okay, enough waffling and back to the layout. As you can see, I've added some gesso to the background paper and I did this to tone the paper down. It was just a little bit too dark, but unfortunately the first layer of gesso I, I added was just a little bit too much and I couldn't see the background paper. So I took a baby wipe and this helps to soften everything up but you can still see that gorgeous background paper you can actually make out what's behind that gesso i really wanted to soften this layout a bit because all the colors were so harsh for my liking so i decided to do some stenciling now this stencil that i'm using is from echo park and it's called flower cluster and i think it's become one of my favorite stencils because i've noticed i've been using it a lot to help me add more softness to this layout, I'm using the Inca Gold paste, and this one's called Rosen Quartz, and I absolutely love how it just added this soft romantic feel to the layout, in my opinion anyway. My next step was inspired by this actual paper, and it was a crazy idea because it was a bit time consuming, but I went along with it. And I decided to do some paper weaving. Now I haven't done any paper weaving for a long time. So as you can see, I'm following the guidelines of the paper and I'm cutting out six strips. I will confess that paper weaving is really not my thing and it did frustrate me to no end, but I got there in the end and I probably won't be doing this for a very long time. So as you can see, I have strips of paper going vertically and I have strips of paper going horizontally and then I start my paper weaving. So I started with my first strip, the horizontal one, and I go over the first strip of paper, under the second strip of paper, over the third strip of paper, and under, and so forth and so forth. So just that whole weaving technique. I am sure that there are YouTube videos on how to paper weave because maybe that's what I should have done and I might not have struggled so much. But anyway, I worked it out and... I'm happy with the end result, but it's something that I will not be doing anywhere in the near future because I do not have the patience for it. Please let me know if you enjoy paper weaving, and if you do, if anyone knows of any good paper weaving tutorials, please let me know, as I really do like the end result, but I just don't know what I'm doing, and this was very frustrating, but maybe if I looked up some tutorials or someone that I could follow that could really you know teach me how to do it properly I might not find it so frustrating so as you can see I'm bringing everything back in and that's where my little paper weaving is going to come in I'm going to put a strip up the top and a strip down the bottom and I originally did want the red and white strips but you know as, ha as what happens when you're creating I flipped it around and I really did like all the floral prints on the other side so I end up using the other side and not my original red and white so here I am I'm just going through all my bits and pieces in my ephemera pack and yes I do use that chipboard now that chipboard is from the graphic 45's love note collection and well it's a chipboard collection but it's a love notes collection oh gosh does that make sense anyway 
Moving right along, I decided that I was going to use this lovely floral paper, also from the Love Notes collection, and I cut a strip and I'm going to be making my own banners. Now, here is another one where I really stuff up all over again. I start by my first cut into the banner, really works out really well, and there were no issues there. But it's the second one. I land up trying to do the same thing, but I think I had the scissors pointed the wrong way or something and it just didn't work. This layout was just one mistake after the other. I don't know what was wrong with me on this day, but nothing was really working to my satisfaction. But anyway, I got the banner done in the end and I like how that looks. And then I take out and I decide then that I'm going to do some inking. So I do ink around the edges of my photo and I will also the edges of my banner. I believe this is the fourth layout that I make using this Love Notes collection from Graphic 45. And as usually happens, you land up with all these scrap pieces of paper. So I really did want to use this lovely red paper. I'm sorry, but I forgot what it's called. And I make another banner. Now, this banner, unfortunately, is not long enough, but as scrappers, we utilize what we have. So all I did was I cut my banner in half and I'm just going to stick one end to one, or stick one, banner, one end of the banner to one end of the paper and then stick the other end of the banner to the other end and it's going to give the illusion that it's one continuous piece of paper, which we all know that it's not. I went a little bit banner happy with this layout but I do like the end result and that's all that matters. So here I am I've taken the striped paper again and I'm going to make another three banners to go down the bottom of the layout. Two of my banners are going to be the striped paper and then for the third one I'm going to flip the paper over and on the reverse side of the stripes are these gorgeous roses and that's going to be my center banner. Confession time I love how this layout turned out but it was one of those layouts where I really struggled. I struggled with the paper weaving and I struggled with the banners. I don't know I just didn't have my scrappy mojo on this day but the end result I love. Anyway moving along I'm going to use this die for my title but before I get onto the title I went looking through my stash and I saw these lovely stickers so I stuck them onto some cardstock uh, before I adhered them down because I like to do that. I don't like stickers because they're permanent. So my cheat's way is to stick them onto some cardstock and then that way I can play around. If I don't like it, I can use it on a future layout. So the one next to my dad says guidance and the one down the bottom says family values. And that's what my parents represent to me. They have guided me my whole life, even now, and they've got strong family values. So the die set is from Kaiser Craft and it's called Love You Most. And Auntie Vera has got them on at some really great prices. So go and check out her website because she's very competitive. I originally thought that I wanted the title in that beige colour, but it didn't quite work. So no problem. I got out my Inca Gold in the colour Lava Red and coloured it in using my finger and I absolutely love it. So all I'm doing here is I've got these wonderful brads in my collection and they are a love heart brad so I'm just going to put that through the top there and then I get out this other piece of paper and I'm just going to trim my layout all around just by I think it's about two millimeters all around that I trimmed it or four sides and then I'm going to stick it down onto that lovely background paper and my layout will be complete there's some close-ups for you and thank you once again for your support. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you came on board and also hit that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload any new videos. Thank you all so much. I hope you're all well and stay well, especially during these times. Until next time, bye everybody.